so lineage, that's a fascinating thing. So two questions about people that have a lineage to extraterrestrial. One question is, even if we have a lineage, say, to um, one form, can we still access to different? So if people have an original lineage to, say, greys, but they want to connect to Pleiadian, is that still possible? Or are people more limited based on their lineage? That's the first question. And the second question is, to what degree are we, obviously here on planet Earth, there's extreme polarization. Does the polarization lessen based on the dimension or based on the level of evolution of, of the different extraterrestrial races? Great questions. So to start with the first one, um, yes, there is free ability to explore many different uh, connections that you might be interested in, but that is um, that is quite like paradoxically or um, let's say like goes hand in hand with lineage itself. What I mean is that, um, for example, when you say that you have a connection with the Grace, for instance, or the Arturians, but you now claim that you're interested in the Pleiadians, um, the reason why we are interested in the Pleiadians at the moment, it's because you have a connection to the Pleiadians in your lineage. So, you know, as you see, it's not like a separation of lineage versus interest, you know, it all goes hand in hand. And actually, uh, lineage is because we are hybrid species and we are a mix of many different races. Um, we, besides one part of the world being more connected to these uh, beings because they were, you know, the, they descended in Earth back in history and they created, they helped humans create a civilization. And so they gave a lot of their knowledge and knowledge and consciousness, it's, it's genetics, you know, it's DNA because DNA, it's all about consciousness. It's the language of consciousness. Um, they have more of this connection, you know, but generally speaking, but it doesn't mean that it is not found in other parts of the world. That's why we are all the same species because we all have the same connections, the, the same, let's say amount, not the same amount, you know, but the same, uh, generally the same uh, connections, you know, the same mixing of genetics of many, dif dis many different dinner, um, races, you know, et cetera, so races. So of course there are parts of the world, again, that will have a little bit more of this percentage in general, but, and that's why there's lineages. That's why there is like certain, in certain parts of our history, that's why there are wars. That's why, because there, that's why there is conflict because there is tension when a lot, when a lot of that, um, those genetics become a group consciousness. There tends to be a lot of tension and when that tension, you know, founds um, someone that also holds the same level of integration of, of identity, of collective identity, group mentality, because their energy always tends to desire to get to a zero position, to a zero point energy level, that uh, is reflected from the, that is reflected um, as a, let's say duality um, polar polarized, you know, mechanism or, or system. And the collective, the purpose of the collective is to always reach again that balance, that level of integration, of reconnection, of unity. So sometimes those two strong um, group mentalities will find each other like magnets naturally because its purpose, the purpose of energy, the desire of energy is always to reach that zero point, you know, level. So, so that's why there's always conflict in history until we all re reach that point of unity. But DNA goes farther than just lineage, that just, you know, uh, your specific physical lineage. When you incarnate, there is a difference between the physical DNA and the metaphysical DNA. You are a soul, so you have many incarnations. And when once you pass away, you can choose other different incarnations that are not necessarily the same lineage that you have been incarnated as. So the DNA of the soul has a history as much as the lineage that you're incarnated as has a history. So that's why when you incarnate, there is a hybridization, you know, and the vessel 
having a certain amount of DNA of genetics of higher percentage makes it so that that is specific genetics, that is specific connection becomes more, let's say, um, open to channel, more conductive to that specific aspect of your consciousness, of your soul, you know, of your over soul level. So that's why if you incarnate in someone who has a bleeding lineage, it doesn't mean that you cannot channel Arturian energy from your consciousness because you have many different experiences integrated in your soul DNA. But it means that because your vessel itself has that history of having established this connection with the bleeding energy, with the bleeding constellation, it's more conductive of that energy. And that's why sometimes you will express more of this energy. But as again, we hold, we hold a long history, you know, of connections and incarnations and experiences in our DNA, in our soul DNA. So because that has been integrated in it as, a, as experience, we can always choose to connect to whatever that we want to connect. And it's a sign, it's always a sign that it is part of our connection. Otherwise, there wouldn't be excitement. 